सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गेट टू बाइट प्लेटफॉर्म वंस अगेन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड आर वर्किंग ग्रेट सो कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सीरीज ऑफ सेंसर्स एंड मॉड्यूल इंटरफेसिंग विद होस्ट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरफेस न्यू वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द आर एफ आई डी टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरफेस न्यू मॉड्यूल आर एफ आई डी मॉड्यूल एम एफ आर सी फाइव टू टू विद आर होस्ट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर so before proceeding with this thing i want to give in one very important update that lately i have been working a lot on my get to byte website where i am making a blog kind of tutorials and format on the various topics of embedded firmware development embedded systems microcontrollers automotive and uh, various technical technical content so you can check out the website and you can find on uh, various uh, blog content on embedded basics embedded microcontroller sensors and module interfacing artos and iot and many other uh, things related to the technology different experiencing different kind of technologies so do check out the website and do give me its feedback and anyone who want to contribute with uh, the content on making on this they can definitely reach out to me now coming back to the main topic of our video so continuing with the series of our sensors and modules interfacing with our host mcus in the last video we have started with the rfid technology and rfid reader module mfrc 522 okay and in the last video i have explained about what is rfid technology is uh, about the mfrc 522 ic is its general overview and explaining its features in detail and i have also told you to check out this blog in which i have explained about the mfrc 522 in a very detailed way now in this video we are going to move further and we are going to understand the functional description of this ic that what all different subsystems does this ic have and uh, various uh, features does the and how does the, the features of msi 52 are implemented in it okay so now without wasting time let's get started and understand about these different subsystems because understanding of these subsystems is important so as to interface this ic and make its driver with any host microcontroller now first thing that we are going to understand is its functional description mfrc 522 has number of small subsystems in i in it okay those subsystems are like uh, like i have written in a very uh, efficient way in my blog so you can definitely reach uh, check out this blog you should check out this blog so first is the mfrc 522 host interfaces mfrc can be connected to host mcu using three serial protocols either uart either i2c or either spi one can check like mfrc module the ic would check that which current host interface type a user or we are using so as to connect it with our host microcontroller and it checks this automatically according to the power or according to the signals which we are giving to these pins of our uh, mfrc 522 ic so if we want to use spi module mode host interface type that is what we are going to use actually so we need to connect sda pin to ss pin uh, i to c and ea pin has to be connected as 0 and 1 0 here is low signal 1 here is high signal that is plus 5 or plus 3.3 volt then d7 d6 d5 are the miso mosi and sck pins and rest pins should be left unconnected okay correspondingly you can see for uart which pins to be connected by what connections these are the host mcu or the external power supply and the external circuitry circuit and these are the pin of the uh, mfrc 522 then another functional description in F mfrc 522 are the interrupts in mfrc 522 there are internal interrupt subsystem because uh, uh, from which we can get to know that some events have trigger have occurred and these are the event sources interrupt sources 
लाइक टाइमर यूनिट इवन ट्रांसमीटर यूनिट सी आर सी को प्रोसेसर ऑल डाटा फ्रॉम फीफो बफर हैज बीन स्टार्टेड और हैज बीन प्रोसेसिंग फॉर सी आर सी को प्रोसेसर वेन एवर वी सम ट्रांसमिट सम डाटा और वेन एवर वी रिसीव सम डाटा एट द फीफो बफर ऑफ एम एफ आर सी फाइव टू टू कॉरस्पॉन्डिंगली द स्टेटस ऑफ फीफो बफर इज द इंटरप सोर्सेज डेट वेन एवर फीफो बफर इज फुल और फीफो बफर इज एम टी एंड दीज आर द इंटरप सोर्सेज बाय विच आर इंटरप्ट pin irq pin can be asserted in mfrc 522 so if we have configured our uh, that due to which source we want that our irq pin should be asserted and correspondingly the irq pin would be getting an high or low pin and that we can use in our with our host microcontroller so as to generate the interrupts at the host microcontroller and and then correspondingly make our application and these are the registers डी आई वी रजिस्टर एंड कॉम आई आर क्यू रजिस्टर आर यूज फॉर कॉन्फिगरिंग द विच इंटरप सोर्स हैज टू बी टारगेट हैज टू बी कॉन्फिगर्ड फॉर एन इंटरप टू अकर एंड द असर्शन ऑफ द आई आर क्यू पेन एंड वाई आर द कॉम आई ई आर रजिस्टर एंड डेव आई ई रजिस्टर वी विल गेट टू नो डेट विच इंटरप्ट हैज बीन अकर्ड एंड वॉट कॉरस्पॉन्डिंगली action we need to take on irq pin okay so the this is the one another functional description another is the timer unit in mfrc 522 the uh, timer unit in mfrc 522 is used for many purposes like for, for configuring the clock uh, according to for our spi i2c uart or any of these uh, host interfaces communication protocols which you are using and for also the internal working of mfrc 522 for the analog front end and for all those things so we need to configure the timer also and there are timer mode registers pre register and timer reload register and timer can counter value register okay and uh, then another functional description in mfrc 522 is the fifo fifo stands for first in first out so basically fifo is nothing but a buffer or you can say a memory area where whatever we get need to transmit the data from mfrc 522 to the pcd to our rfid readers we will write the data on the fifo buffer or whatever data we need to be processed inside the mfrc so like for the crc uh, to be generated so first the data of a fifth fifo crc has to be generated we will write that data on the fifo and then correspondingly actions would be taken so uh there are see these are the fifo registers fifo data register and fifo level register fifo data register is used for uh, writing the data that uh, like uh, the our host microcontroller will send the fifo data register followed by the data that has to be written on the fifo correspondingly there is fifo level register that will tell us that how many bytes of data is stored inside the fifo so these are the very important uh, fifo is very important functional description okay and also like uh, in the rfid technology so uh, our host the pcd basically the rfid readers send some commands to communicate with rfid readers and those commands are written by the host microcontroller on the fifo buffer only from which the fifo buffer data is transmitted wirelessly via pcd that is rfid readers to communicate with rfid reader tags and rfid tags also send their response to the rfid readers in the fifo only and then from the fifo our host microcontroller reads out the bytes or reads out the data and then we get to know okay whether our rfid reader like what data rfid reader has sent or what response rfid reader has sent MFRC CRC this is the cyclic redundancy check as i have been mentioning it again and again that MR CRC is used for checking the authenticity and integrity of the data that is being communicating between RFID readers and RFID tags so there is a inbuilt uh, CRC coprocessor in MFRC 522 that uh, in which we just need to input the data and then according to this polynomial our crc or a values generated out one byte value that is being uh, like prefix uh, suffix 
to the data while transmitting and receiving and it is checked at both readers and read tags and so as to see that whether our data is original intact or uh, this thing okay then yeah this th these two things i will be telling in next video uh, because this will come under the device driver creation in the coding part okay so like yeah just to give an understanding and overview about mfrc 522 ic that's all about i have explained its features i have explained its functional description and one part is also left is its pin out okay so these three in like uh, the remaining part of the pin out and the explaining that how actually mfrc 522 internal system works how does the host microcontroller rfid readers rfid tags all of these three communicate with each other how does what all commands we need to send and what many other things interesting things about working of rfid mfrc 522 and rfid readers so these topics uh, pin out and how internal system works would be taking in next video and then followed by the device driver creation so till then guys i will see you and have a nice time do subscribe to the youtube channel for such an upcoming videos content tutorial blogs technology related videos all those things and don't forget to check the get to byte website where i have been uploading many interesting content on the technology on the learning skills or in a kind of div projects and firmware of related to embedded systems and iot recently i have also made a blog on stm32 wb55 which is a very popular and widely being used as a new ble module in competent and in competition to esp32 okay and also other couple of blogs you should check about the automotive microcontrollers of nxp as semiconductors Till then guys, see you and have a nice time. So that's it for now. Like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos and share it with your friends.